thank you to the EA Creator Network for providing me with codes for The Sims 4. Hello friends, long time no see, welcome back to my channel. It's actually been a while since I've played uh, Raising Right. I think it's been something like 10, 11 days since you last saw an episode, but I was recording episodes kind of before I got early access to Horse Ranch to cover me and cover the channel kind of while I was kind of like creating content for Horse Ranch. So it's been quite a while since I've actually played with the Raising the Right household. So I feel like we just need to go and check in with each character, see how everybody's getting back, like what everybody's getting up to, where they are in the development. It's going to be a refresh for me. It's going to be good for you guys as well as to have a little bit of a refresher. If you kind of know what's going on, maybe you're kind of binge watching the playlist, just skip forward a little bit that's uh and uh yeah but i need to catch up uh so let's jump into the household actually i was trying to sleep through the night um and uh oh my god there's so much to so much to do because i've not played since horse ranch so i've not even like i can tile the ceilings guys i can go in i can tile the porch ceiling now and we can look up we can look up and like it'll look less stupid if i tell this i'm not doing it right now though um <laughs> what what we can do, um, I was trying to sleep through the night and get it to like 4am so that we could start afresh in the morning, but little Grimmy Grim Grim here, who's the Grim Reaper, who you all voted for to add to this household as an infant so that we could raise him right, uh, he got this quirk and it's uh, the quirk a light sleeper revealed. Grim seems to sleep more lightly than other toddlers. Toddlers who are light sleepers have a tendency to wake up randomly when sleeping and will need to be put back to sleep if they're still tired. I thought he would sleep like the dead, considering his uh, future career. And yet, here we are with a little wakey baby. But he's not too bad, actually. It's 1am. He doesn't have school or anything because he's a toddler. So I think he can kind of get up and start amusing himself. Let's see what Grimmy Grim Grim wants to, wants to do. He seems okay. He's, he's, he's a happy little boy. Oh, look how cute. Look at his little feet, guys. His little tiny feet. Honestly, they did such a good job of toddlers in The Sims 4. Like, I think they're absolutely adorable. Oh, it looks like the skeleton bear is his favorite. I'm sorry uh, to Vlad, the uh, the vampire bat does not seem to be the one that Grim's going for. He wants to have a chat with the skeleton. I mean, Bonehilda, the Grim Reaper, I, sh I ship them. So he's acquired the communication skill from having to chat with the uh, the skelly bear. Um, and he loves sounds as well. Okay, hold on guys. Let's zoom into a uh, little baby Grim here um, and we'll have a little read of that. Look how adorable he is. Look at this little guy. He's so cute. Okay, that didn't work. I can't stay in tab mode. I, I forgot how The Sims 4 works, guys, even though I've been playing it constantly. Um, Grim seems to really love anything that makes sound. Toddlers with this quirk tend to be fascinated with radios, TV and toys that make sounds. They even babble more. I realise why I can't hear anything because my... <laughs> My, one of my headphones is broken and I've got the broken one in my ear so I'm like why are the game sounds not working they are I just I'm stupid um okay I was like it makes sounds of course it does I just can't hear them uh maybe we should go and uh, wake uh Vlad up I don't know <laughs> maybe not what do you want to do mate are you gonna read you're gonna play in the books I do feel like the Grim Reaper would be quite well read I feel like you know eternity's a long time and there's some really great books out there I think you'd read a bit of Shakespeare a bit of Stephen King you know a little bit of uh I don't know Enid Blyton maybe that's his vibe I don't know I'm not judging um yeah he's so cute so like I said, the premise of this Let's Play is uh, we're taking some of the most... Oh, we've got Love's books as well. How quickly did we learn those quotes? I wonder. Now, I've not seen anything to say that they've done this, but I am curious to know... Have they tuned it so that they discover the quirks faster? Because that felt very, very quick to me in comparison to kind of like how quickly we're discovering quirks for like other children. Do we even know all of Agnes's quirks yet? I don't think, no, loves books, loves sounds, hates people. Oh, we do, okay, fair enough. All right, I don't know. Maybe I've just not been paying attention again. Uh, Grim seems particularly, 
Grim seems particularly fond of books. Toddlers who love books enjoy playing around bookshelves and will be asked to be read to more frequently and are more likely to look at books themselves. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty adorable. I kind of love it. Um, I love that he's angelic as well because he's the baby angel of death, you know? Um, so I love the I love Grim Reaper. He's been the least problematic child out of all the children that we've been raising. And as I say, uh, the idea is that all kind of like pre-maids in the game so the existing kind of maxi sims um, and we're gonna we kind of like age them down to be infants and then we're using things like uh, parenthood with the character values which if you're not sure what that is it's this thing here manners emotional control responsibility conflict resolution and empathy and you can like if you if I kind of hover over it you can kind of um, swing that pendulum in different directions to make them for example with empathy insensitive or compassionate so um, yeah, we've got, even though I'm gonna give them the same traits that they have as pre-maids in The Sims 4, I'm gonna, uh, which we discovered one actually in, in the Horse Ranch LP. Um, I discovered oh, one, something, one of my Horse Ranch videos, I think it was, we discovered that the Grim Reaper actually has socially awkward as a personality trait. So there we go, because I didn't know what his personality was. So, so socially awkward is uh, in, in, in future in store for Grim. Uh, but but yeah, so the idea is we're going to give them the same traits that the pre-maids have. We're not going to actually mess too much with their law, uh, but what we're going to do is uh, kind of build a framework around their more problematic traits to kind of take the edge off a little bit. So for example, this guy here is Greg Lungvik. He, not not this guy, that's, that's, not, that's not Greg. This is Greg, and we have raised him. If you go all the way back to the start of the playlist, he was the first child that we added to the household, um, and uh, he's the werewolf that's kind of really angry from uh, werewolves. He kind of lives out on his own. Uh, so yeah, uh, we, we got him. It took a little bit of work to kind of find him and get him into cast and I cloned him as an infant. So like I say, he has actually got uh, Greg, the uh, like the original Sims trait. So he's got loner and glutton so far. We can choose which one we want to add first to kind of, again, help us out a little bit as we're raising him. Uh, but we, he's got all these like additional traits because we've raised him so well so he's been completing aspirations um, he's been he's got really high confidence as well so we use kind of like that well high self-esteem so we use the confidence thing uh, that was added with growing together to give him high self-esteem so he's doing really really super duper well and he's got all this kind of uh, all these helpful traits that are going to stop him kind of being so aggressive and like I say he was still working on character values let me just minimize milestones for a second uh, and he's doing really well with this as well so because he's this angry werewolf who as soon as you meet him he starts a fight with you if you in if you go and play werewolves uh, we've given him things like conflict resolution and empathy and all these kinds of things emotional control to stop him raging so much uh, we do have to kind of keep an eye on all these I would love to get manners on but as long as we get, I, I want to say, we don't have to do everything with every single uh, sim. We do want them to have a little bit of variation of kind of personality. And so with Greg, like with all of them, I feel like three out of five character values is going to be enough and we just have to avoid having any negative ones. Uh, so yeah, since he's so close to getting emotional control, I feel like we can just bump that up as well. And Greg is actually doing so well. So let me show you some of his other things. He's got physically gifted and headstrong. And this is from completing two child aspirations. And he's also got top notch infant, uh, which is uh, because he did so well as an infant. So he's got all this good stuff going for him. So I do feel like we need to resolve this fear of failing test. We don't want him to age up with that. I don't know if... I think it's a bit of a bug that they can age up with that or I don't know if like there's some uh, Discover University gameplay around that but uh, yeah I, I that that one's been a bit weird for me off camera that that specific fear um, but yeah like I say so emotional control get that up that should be fine we just keep sending sending him out for like a jog to control his emotions um, and yeah he's doing really well but his aspiration though, he has to sneak out to a party. So I don't know how to make this happen. So I feel like we're just gonna give it a few days. We're gonna see if this happens naturally. Um, a college party. Actually, do you know what? I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna look this up because I don't know how, I don't know how to make this happen. <laughs> 
So it looks like all you have to do is have a lot of friends, like use the social bunny feature to have a lot of friends and eventually you get asked out to a college party, but it seems kind of vague. It doesn't seem like there's a way to trigger it. So I don't really like this specific uh, goal that we have to do. It feels like it's just kind of, um, you just have to wait and see, which kind of takes the power out of our hands. I don't really like that. Um, but like I say, we do have this window here, so we can actually sneak out if we do get invited to a party. Um, and I wish we could just use this window. I wish it had a go through option uh, because it would make it great for storytelling, but unless I get invited to a party, apparently it's just useless. Um, so yeah, I guess it's just a waiting game with Greg to kind of do that. So. In the meantime, I guess what we can do is kind of like work on his, hang on, where am I? Uh, work on his fear of failing tests and uh, work on improving his emotional control and just keeping him quite vibing high. And fingers crossed that'll kind of just happen through gameplay. Uh, so let's just kind of keep going. We've got Eliza Pancakes as well. So you can see here, unfortunately, Eliza did get Unhappy Infant. I don't really know why she, I, I think looking back on it, she was just quite troublesome <laughs> uh, but she's got si high self-esteem as well and she's got a couple of um, aspirations here that she completed as a child so she's also doing super duper well another thing that I kind of want to do with the teenagers is um, I don't really care if they get an A or not it depends on the personality uh, but I do want them to kind of max out one of these kind of side jobs or after school activities so that's also something that we're working on Greg's been a scout so he's doing really well he has got a couple more badges to earn so we need to kind of do that too um yeah this is eliza pancakes so eliza pancakes you probably know her she's uh oh the partner of oh i guess grim's gone back to sleep has he oh bless him he took himself back to bed how adorable uh so yeah eliza pancakes uh the wife of bob pancakes uh she's nobody really likes her everybody sees her as being kind of like a bit kind of Nan, like I don't know like naggy um but I quite like her I see as quite like an ambitious career woman so again I'm kind of like changing hearts changing minds about uh Eliza Pancakes and hopefully we're all gonna kind of love her um Vlad down here who oh he's not in his coffin I guess he's sleeping in the treehouse today I'm sorry I can tell the the it's going to be visually a little bit glitchy. I don't really know what's going on with my computer system at the moment. I've, um, I knocked my webcam over and I've got a new mouse. So whether something's messing around with my settings, I don't know, but I am sorry if the video, video quality is a bit blur on this video. Um, I can see maybe the frame rate's not too high. Uh, but yeah, Vlad is uh, the big main kind of vampire from all the promotional footage of the Vampires game pack. Uh, again, he's got a lot of issues, like adult Vlad kind of hisses too much and things like this. He's very socially awkward and off-putting. Uh, so again, we're just trying to give him a different life, right? Um, I know he's got the alter ego Vladdy Daddy, shout out Taz. Um, but we, um, in this, kind of series he's he's an actor he's he's kind of really getting into kind of a drama club I think feel like it's good for him he's almost like this Vincent Price character right so he gets to play all these villains and he plays them really well so um and getting some charisma there as well that I think is going to help him out in kind of like making friends and influencing people uh but you can see here he's doing really well so he's already drama club three doing amazing so he's probably going to be an, an, an actor when he grows up um and you can see here he's uh, he's got ideas person so he's already done one out of two kind of childhood aspirations they don't need to do two but i quite like doing two um and he's got uh, he's working on whiz kid as well so he does need to do homework two times while focused i feel like this is broken um we, i haven't managed to make it happen yet and so if it is a bug and if it is kind of broken i might just cheat to kind of like skip that aspiration but yeah, he's kind of doing brilliantly. So he's kind of nearly there on kind of aging up as well to be a teenager. We've got Don Lothario, who's uh, recently aged up to being a child. Now, if you don't know this about Don Lothario, who uh, has been in The Sims since The Sims 2, and he's kind of portrayed as being a bit of a, a womanizer. Uh, in The Sims 4, I feel like they've really dumbed him down. He seems just, it's like they've made him two dimensional. He's just a womanizer, right? Um, but, uh, in The Sims 2, did I say The Sims 2? In The Sims 4, they've dumbed him down. In The Sims 2, he was actually a medical intern, right? So he had a bit more, uh, a bit more to offer to the women, right? There was more of a reason that women were kind of hooking up with him than just 
he do you want a one night stand you know what I mean it was like oh he's a doctor so uh again I kind of want to give him that kind of in intelligence back and make him less of a Ken right less of a himbo uh I've not watched the Barbie movie yet I, I might go and see it today I'm quite excited um but yeah he's kind of uh yeah, we're going to give him a bit of his dignity back, I feel, in this Let's Play. Uh, so uh, here we've got self-assured, which is one of his adult traits and uh, natural, neutral confidence at the moment. We need to work on his confidence. But he's been uh, playing with this little doctor's set over here, which really, really helps him out with his empathy. So hopefully we should see that rise quite well as he kind of plays doctor. Uh, playing doctor as well, like... We, I've got my eye on you, Don Lothario. The only other child kind of left in this family, and we're not going to add any more. We've got a full household now, so I feel like six children is enough for this series. Maybe we'll return to it. We'll do like a season two one day. But with it being quite time consuming, I feel like... I feel like this is enough for the time being. Um, I've also got Horse Ranch on the go now as well, which the episodes of that might be a bit few and far between, uh, but please do go and check them out. I'm actually editing those videos, which has been an experience for me to kind of like learn editing software. So um, yeah, it's that's still something I'm kind of in the process of kind of make, like, I don't know, skilling up and perfecting, but if you want to go and check those out, it's, it's quite fun for me to do that. So I appreciate it if you do watch those videos. I know a lot of you are really invested in raising them right though so I'm not abandoning this this is definitely kind of my main uh series at the moment uh so yeah we've also got Agnes Crumplebottom now again Agnes is actually one of the oldest running pre-maids of this whole series because she was in The Sims 1 and she's that woman who would like hit Sims with the handbag when they were kissing with Hot Day. So she's been in The Sims for a long, long time um, and she's always been this kind of like angry old woman. Her law is actually that her, she was actually quite romantic. She wanted to start a family. So if you go and look at The Sims 3, you can see that unfortunately her husband uh, passed away and uh, yeah, that's what kind of made her very, very bitter and kind of hate romance because her heart was broken. So I want to try and avoid that tragedy with Agnes and we'll try and make her a little bit more uh, her romantic kind of loving self that she was before her tragedy uh but yeah we do have to keep the same traits so she's fussy which is the trait i gave her which i think suits her you know being that kind of like older fuddy duddy kind of woman uh she also loves books loves sounds and hates being carried and that's what she's got going on so with uh with the toddlers with grim and uh agnes because they don't have an aspiration we're really really just kind of working on uh let's just press play because i've been talking for quite a while and not actually playing we're really just kind of working on um their milestones um, and their skills as well so uh once agnes gets three out of five skills maxed we can age her up um and i like to pick one specifically that i want to make sure they get and with agnes i want to make sure she has the imagination skill because none of the others have kind of like focused on the imagination skill and i like the idea mentioning kind of like beatrix potter and kind of these childy writers that Grimm loves um, and with her having loves books I thought her going into like the writer career could be really cute and kind of twee and um, maybe writing romance novels uh, so I kind of really like that for her so imagination is the one that we're working on with Agnes but for now everybody's in bed so I guess I'm just gonna like speed up oh do you know what it's actually four o'clock in the morning oh Greg's up Greg's up and he seems a little bit angry uh oh is greg about oh there we go right in front of our eyes greg turns into a werewolf um so yeah he actually has some really challenging um oh here we go wait 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 wait, guys let's zoom in a little bit here let's zoom in let's get this uh let's get this moment on camera here we go oh he's behind my head of course he is yeah so we are trying to hide some of our more supernatural tendencies from the neighbors so we do need to kind of like keep an eye on greg right now i feel like we should probably uh do you know what he's hungry and i think he does have the ability to go and hunt for food uh did i give him that or does he not have that yet uh so talking about the werewolf abilities um so he um greg's gonna have this as well as like another factor that we're gonna have to kind of work with uh as is uh vlad now although i'm giving them the exact same traits that they have as pre-maids um i i can give them whatever abilities that i want to give them uh, i don't have to give them the exact same abilities so this is hopefully going to make vlad a less 
difficult vampire. Um, so yeah, we've got, um, where are we? I'm sure I gave him, yeah, learn to hunt for food. Unfortunately, it looks like he can't do that right now. Um, and what also I wanted to point out are these kind of uh, bonus traits that werewolves can get. Unfortunately, these are randomly generated and Greg has randomly generated three very negative ones that are really gonna um, kind of increase that fury a bit too quickly. Um, so what I would really like to do, and his, his father, Christopher, who's Christopher from the werewolves pack, he's kind of like a foster dad. So I figured he was the perfect dad for this family. Um, he has Luna Howell, and this will actually randomize the, those uh, temperaments. It will re-roll them. So I do feel like ideally, if we can max out um, Greg's uh, werewolf, um, stage uh, and we can get in that lunar howl it's going to really really help with some of those negative sentiments but we don't have to do that as a teen uh but it is something we definitely want to aim for he also wants to prepare for a test so that is something we can work on as well right you're pretty hungry greg do you have any food in your inventory you do not okay that's fine um is there any food knocking around the house you could eat um there's some not great stuff there's something that looks like it's kind of already ate. Um, I feel like, mm, is there anything in the fridge? No, he can only smash the fridge. Okay, do you know what, Greg? Let's get you down to the panic room. So, um, <laughs> Uh, the Grim Reaper's room kind of doubles up as the werewolf panic room. So if I just kind of like send him down here, go here ferociously, uh, maybe we'll get Grim out. Uh, Grim, can you get up and kind of come out here, please? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to we're gonna have to lock Greg in the basement because yeah, we can't have a werewolf running around the neighborhood, kind of like I don't know. We're we're trying to be a little bit hidden here, you know. We're trying to raise the reputation of these sims so if he's like sabotaging things around the neighborhood as a werewolf it looks bad on it looks bad on the others you know so uh let's just wait for little groomy to leave there we go let's go ahead and lock the door if it will allow me to do that why isn't it letting me i don't know because he's a werewolf eliza help me out here lock for uh, I want to look for everybody. Oh my God, there's so many options. It'd be helpful, Sims team, if anyone happens to watch this, <laughs> hi. Um, it'd be really helpful if we could uh, look for everyone, but if we could have that everyone option on the main pie menu as like the first option so that we can just like find it really easily because it's I, that I'd, I'd find that easy let me know guys if you'd find that easy too in the comments um okay so greg can we get you to regain self-control or are we in trouble here uh does so hang, hang on i've got a message okay um does eliza not like raid lullabies i uh, sure eliza doesn't like lullabies we'll take it no greg do not destroy the bed greg stop it greg no like look at what you've done to the spare bed in here oh my god greg are you serious he was not able to regain self-control. Okay, unfortunately, I mean, please don't destroy Grimm's uh, first victim. Um, don't destroy Grimm's bed. Greg, honestly, it's a good thing that Cinderella knows the Reparia spell is what I'm gonna say. Um, okay, Cinders, listen, let's help a, our child out here. Uh, can we magic spells uh, Delicio? Let's get him a meal in there at least. It'll give him a few minutes of kind of like distracting him. So you can actually see Cinderella is a spellcaster as well. Uh, the best void critter. I got in a fight with somebody at school about which void critter is more powerful. Um, I said it was the Articorn, but he kept saying Su Suintor. Which one is it? Right, what do I want to do with Vlad? I can't actually remember vlad's uh, character values but he does need empathy yes to me i agree i've not ate breakfast yet uh emotional control conflict resolution or empathy um let's go with empathy um and hope <gasps> Vlad's empathy is in, in range to earn the compassionate trait oh my goodness that is brilliant fabulous let's have a quick look at that then uh so all the way down here i've got a new mouse as well guys um so the scrolls a little bit different to my old mouse so if you're just noticing i'm a bit slow with that that's why uh, but hopefully it's gonna be less clicky so if you do go and watch my horse ranch episode um it, my mouse is super clicky and it's really annoying uh, so i've got one of those kind of like quiet mice <laughs> i bet you're all like cinderella cinderella mouse 
you need to be the quiet mouse here. Uh, no, never. Um, okay. So yeah, so he's empathetic, amazing. So we do need conflict resolution, emotional control, responsibility is pretty good. So you can just get that by doing homework. Uh, his manners are pretty bad. Okay, I feel like that's not too bad. Okay, we can we can keep working with that. He's not got a bad reputation either, which is which is quite nice. Um, Greg, can you please? Oh, the lag, guys, the lag. Why can I not click on this? Oh, because he's a werewolf. Can I not even get him to feed himself as a werewolf? That's kind of annoying. Can you get, mm, gosh, right, I'm just gonna ignore him for a bit. Uh, Eliza, how are you doing, my love? What are you up to? How are your needs? Uh, you need to go and take a shower, so let me just, oh, I'm sorry, guys, it's so kind of laggy looking. Uh, I'm really, really sorry about that. I don't know what to do. Sometimes it kind of warms up by itself. Um, I tried to see if my computer was doing anything in the background and I couldn't kind of like see anything. Uh, spells, Repario. Oh, it looks like Vlad beat you to it. Maybe the shower upstairs is free. Uh, maybe you can go and jump in the bath up here. Uh, take a bath with soaks. I feel like she is gonna have a, uh, a muscle relaxing soak because she's quite a tense person, right? So, oh, she just needs to relax. Um, okay, let's check in on the kids because they do all have to go to school soon. Cinderella, I think we need to magic some more food here. Uh, let's just go ahead and magic it up here. The maid can clean it up later. Uh, thank you, maid. You are a blessing. We are glad to have you. Wait, are you nagging him? No, you need to raise his confidence. He, um, pray, asked, express love. Express love to Don Lothario. He needs it, right? This is, this is the root of all his problems. Um, Teach to say sorry, I don't know. Uh, okay, John, come and get some spaghetti from the stairs for breakfast. <laughs> uh, Vlad, you can't eat blood yet, <laughs> so come and get some spaghetti. It's got some red on top, I feel like. He could pretend, right? Even though plasma's purple, technically, in The Sims 4. Uh, Cinders, do you need to actually eat? Uh, you do. Come and get some food yourself. Grab a serving. A uh, little baby Grimmy. Grimmy can get up here by himself. It's going to help him with his movement skill if he makes his own way up here. Um, I just saw Vlad's confidence going up as well, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's have a quick check in with you again. Oh my god, you're even like werewolf stinking up the place. That like, You're peeing on your own food, mate. Oh, man, Is this going to work this time? Nope. Oh, still not working. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we can't let him go to school in that state. How are you doing? Uh, I think you should come and get some... Really, Vlad? 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 Really? Are you, are you hungry today, Vlad? Oh my god, the lag. Ah, it's driving me crazy. Uh, oh, look his little odd socks and everything. How cute does he look? Oh my god, Vlad, are you... Baby, are you hungry? I mean, it's hard. I can understand, like, it must be hard to satisfy your hunger when you're in that in-between kind of pre-vampire and adult vampire stage. Like, I know there's no real vampire gameplay for, like, children, but I can imagine... He must be just eating it like that. <laughs> um, like, I can imagine it must be hard to satisfy that hunger inside of you when uh, when you're not able to kind of, like, drink plasma yet. Um, do you know what? My heart goes out to you, Vlad. It ain't easy being you. Uh, we've got Don here. Uh, he needs to do something about his social and also his hygiene. So let's just go ahead and get him to take a bubble bath. Uh, how, oh, Agnes is up. Agnes is up and on the move. Oh, and Vlad just walks straight over her. Um, oh my goodness, so much is happening. A balanced meal. Someone said eating dirt was okay, but someone else said eating dirt will make you die. Is it okay to eat dirt. I do really want to work on his empathy. Uh, again, I think that's going to be helpful in the way he treats people in relationships. So I'm going to say, go ahead, eating dirt is fun. <laughs> It's fine. Uh, let's get back up here and uh, get this little baby to come and have some food. Agnes, get back upstairs and have some food. We can shower you later. Uh, what is Christopher doing? Christopher is just, he's eating some food and scratching himself, so we'll kind of leave him to it. Cinderella's having a nice little conversation with uh, Eliza Pancakes. I am gonna get the names wrong. This is just something that is to do with the way my brain is wired. I can't help it. So for those of you who are new, just, just try and understand what I'm trying to say and the words coming out of my mouth might not be accurate, <laughs> but hopefully you'll understand what I'm trying to say. Um, okay, I think everybody's off to, oh, Greg's back, Greg's back. Okay, he's back and he's at his wolf 
pea flavored food and he does oh hang on wrong button he does need to go to school so let's open the door unlock uh and greg could you please head to school um Ooh, uh, send all students alone. Just go on your own. Please make friends. Get invited to college parties because that is your mission in life. Uh, Cinderella, could you maybe... Oh, Cinderella, uh, work from home, please. Um, okay, he took his stink with him, apparently. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, can we just kind of magic up this, uh, this room? Because... Um, no, I don't want him to skip school. No, go to school, Vlad. Um, I don't... So you can fix the scratches that the werewolves make, but I'm going to magic... Why can't I... Oh, my God. Sims team. That's an oversight, isn't it? If, the, if I ever saw one, I should be able to repair uh, the scratches on the furniture. For sure. Like, that is definitely an oversight. That's kind of annoyed me a little bit, actually. I'm not paying for it. I'm going to wait until the Sims team patches it in. Uh, so five years later um okay Agnes I think we need to get you cleaned up honey because you kind of uh, very very mucky looking there Don hopefully is off to school so let's give a bubble bath to Agnes and uh let's check in on Grim uh Christopher's carrying Grim somewhere uh I guess he didn't find the food all by himself so uh Christopher's gonna help him out there um I mean his movement skills are only really really low so he hasn't quite figured out how to uh how to climb those stairs all by himself yet and it was two flights of stairs so stop scratching your fleas all over his dinner please Christopher He's eating some chips. Very, very cute. He seems happy now. He does. He is quite a happy child, even though it says he's sad. That's, you know, he's just, I don't know. He just always seems quite cheerful. Um, let's, um, let me just stop a second and like what does he actually need so he's tired i want to come in and give him some fatherly attention i'm going to tell him you'll be okay it's all right everything's fine uh we've cleaned up all the kind of wolf pee from your room it's going to be all right and then we'll just kind of come in and affection uh soothe him uh come on what are you doing christopher why are you saying no to me uh friendly affection hug lovingly and then we'll kind of read him a story because again apparently he loves books so let me just see if I've got a toddler book in his inventory uh we've got what the werewolf who came in from the cold but I don't think that's a toddler book uh, so let's just have a quick look uh if I open this um let's just track them um let's get like you for the time being oh here you go uh, that's a children's book, it's not a toddler book, but we'll just grab that anyway. Uh, Princess Plum Bob's Castle looks like it's got werewolves on it, so we'll go with that one. Um, and then we'll just go ahead and kind of like put him back to bed. Oh, no, the stink is still there, apparently. Uh, what is going on? There's too much happening. What? What do you want? Greg learned, oh no, Greg tried to skip out of a class today to confront a crying friend. Uh, what should we tell him? Okay, so what did he need? Uh, manners, empathy, and responsibility. He does need, I don't want to lower empathy. He needs manners, but I don't want to lower empathy. Um, raise empathy, but lowers responsibility. Raises responsibility, lowers empathy. Um, I am going to go ahead and raise empathy because I think it's really important for Greg to have empathy. Um, and low, responsibility is quite easy to kind of build back up just by getting them to do the homework and sending them to school and brushing the teeth and things like that. I think responsibility is probably the easiest one to uh, to gain in my experience. So I'm going to do helping friends comes first. And actually, do you know what? I think he's right to go and check on a friend. Like he can always catch up on the class later, right? Um, but you know, you need to be there for a friend in the moment sometimes. Uh, so teaching moment complete. Has this changed? I don't remember this ever having a tick on it before. I feel like that's different. Why is that different? Um, okay. Greg's responsibility fell out of the range. Okay, we can get that back up. It's going to be fine. Let's not panic about that. Uh, so yeah, I do want to go ahead and read, uh, read toddler to sleep and read the Grim Reaper to sleep. <laughs> That's a sentence you don't say every day. Why can't I clean this? Why is it just... Oh, because only vampires can... Uh, vampires. Only werewolves can see it, I think. Is that what it is? Only werewolves can see other werewolves stink? Or is it only Greg can see his own stink? I don't know what's going on with that. I'm just going to go ahead and clean spells. It won't let me do it. I don't know. We just have to put up with it. I'm confused about that feature right now. Uh, but here we go. So the best father... The best father, I say, as he growls at the child. 
<laughs> the best father in any of my let's plays at this point, I think, uh, is uh, Christopher. Not all heroes wear capes. Some of them wear boxer shorts and, uh, oh, where have I gone? Boxer shorts and uh, body scars. <laughs> And that's okay. Not all fathers have to look the same, okay? Um, Cinderella has bathed Agnes, it looks like. Although it looks like she's still stinky. Excuse me. Maybe she needs her bum changing. Let's just change her bum as well for good measure. Because apparently she still stinks. Um, it's not letting me. It doesn't want to let me. Why do you still smell? What is wrong with you? Can I toddler care? I don't know. I don't know what's up with her. She still stinks, apparently. I, I don't know what to do with this child. I'm going to let Cinderella go and have her fun. Oh, Vlad, why aren't you at school? Vlad, where are you? What are you doing here, mate? You're going to get... Your responsibility is going to be going down. Vlad, why aren't you at school, my lovely baby? Go to school, sweet pea. Like, I told you to go to school. Why are you still here? Is it because you didn't do your homework and you're scared you're going to get in trouble? Oh, sweetness, I'm sorry, you still got to go. You still got to go and face the consequences. Listen, this is how we teach you responsibility. So Agnes is kind of doing okay. Um, what do we want to do? So I did say that I want her imagination skill to go up. So uh, I guess we get her to go and play. Can she play with this? Does that build imagination? I actually don't know. Um, maybe this as well. What's that? Oh, she can't play with that. Uh, uh, this? No. This? Play with toys. Play with Claire the Bear. Shout out Sims 1. Does anyone remember Claire the Bear? She used to come in and kind of like, um, like rummage through your trash cans. She'd come in and she had like a little ballet skirt and a little tiara. She'd like totter in on the, on the sidewalk and like rummage in your bin. And like if, if you had the bees and honey on your lot, she'd come in and kind of like play with the, with the beehive to get the honey cute little features from the old days. I've been a simmer for a long time, guys. Um, she's very cute. Okay, so hopefully that's helping her with her imagination skill. Yeah, there we go. So we, hopefully we can max that out. So, Eliza Pancakes are quite the juice fizzing skill. Why? <laughs> Why, Eliza? Someone explain that to me. Is that just like a school thing? Uh, Cinderella can now show off muscles to other Sims and she can swim even faster than before. Oh, look at this movement and communication skills going up there because uh, Daddy Christopher's helping out. I told you he was a good father. Um, so Cinderella is doing quite well. Apparently she can swim now just from sliding on the slip and slide. Apparently that's how you... Uh, that's how you learn to swim. I mean, I guess it helps if you've got like a fear of water or something. She's very curvy. She's kind of hench in this let's play. I don't know why. Um, okay, Christopher, you do need to come out here and tend to your garden because it's, it's not doing too well. Water or weedle. Do you know what we should do, guys? Do you know what we should do? Can I do it on my phone? Do you know what I'm thinking? Are you picking up what I'm putting down here? What if we... What if we call the ranch animal exchange? And what if we buy a mini goat and a mini sheep to help Christopher with his gardening? Because I know this isn't the horse ranch LP, but it'd be nice if we could use some of the features in here. Like there's, I like some of you were saying to me, so hi for those of you who commented, um, some of you were saying, are you going to uh, have Cinderella own a ranch? Are you gonna, uh, excuse me a second guys, I think my kids want me. Oh, my poor real life baby. So that was my son and his headphones have broke for the Xbox. So he was really upset. Uh, so he's gonna go and buy some more, I think. Uh, okay, so yeah. So I can't get a horse because we haven't got enough space in the household and I'm not really planning on using mods to add more Sims to the household because it'll just contribute to the lag. Um, so yeah, no horses for this family, unfortunately, unless maybe in Agnes Crumplebottom's future, maybe she goes to live in Hempton Bagley and gets a horse. Maybe that's something we can do with that. You know, she has a horse, writes Beatrix Potter style novels for children, romance novels. I don't know, that could be her future. Uh, but for right now, I think, because they don't actually contribute to like the household count. I think and you can actually, I've seen um, some videos where people have like hundreds and hundreds of sheep. I think, uh, was it Little Simsy had like 500 sheep? And I think uh, Call Me Kevin as well has a video where he kind of crashes his game because he just has too many animals on it. We're just gonna get one of each, I think. And you know what? We're a strange little household. Do we want a little black sheep for 
Do we want a little black sheep of Grim to bond with? Or do we want... I'm gonna get a little, as tempting as it is to get like a pink sheep for Cinderella. I'm gonna get a pink sheep for Cinderella. Listen, this is the this is the let's play where that's gonna happen. Um, and I wanna get like a little black goat, like which is the creepiest looking goat for the Grim Reaper to bond with because they have scary devil eyes. Uh, let's go ahead and get the black goat. So we've got a pink sheep and a black goat. It's kind of like uh, Barbenheimer, but in goat and sheep form. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And uh, let's place the animals down here. So place animal, mini sheep. Oh my God, what are we gonna name them? I mean, like Flossy, Candy Floss, Candy? Candy, I like candy, Cindy and candy. But, oh, Luna's here, hello our eldest child from the high school years, uh, very short LP that we did. Um, Okay, she has been, so the, the original videos where we first start adding children one by one to the family, Luna's part of the household and uh, really, really helped us out. So we love Luna. She has got a key so she can come and let herself in at any time and we appreciate her. Um, so Cinders, what are you doing, my love? Oh my God, the sheep's here. Oh, Cinderella, come and, come and hug the sheep. Come and hug the sheep. Uh, talk about cotton candy. It's a sign, it's a sign, guys. Um, she, this one has to be called Candy. I want candy, dee, dee, dee. That's not how you spell candy. I want candy. Um, there we go. Candy, Flossy, my love. Okay, we love her. I want a sheer for wool. Maybe we can get started on kind of like cross stitching or something with the pink wool. Uh, come out here. Come and talk about kids these days. Oh my god, look, the puns, guys. I love mini goats and mini sheep. I think they're slightly better than I was expecting them to be. Um, and I do love that if you befriend them, they can help you with the gardening, which I think is super difficult. Why are you so aggressive, sir? Sir, why did you pick the black one? Clearly, he's the spawn of uh, our sweet baby angel of death's best friend, <laughs> Down Under. He comes from a land down under. Um, okay, I guess we're, I guess we're sad now. Because why? Because mini goat gruff, that grumpy mini goat had nothing nice to say. And now he's, and now he's sulking in the treehouse. Are you, are you serious right now? Are you serious? <laughs> you hear him? You okay you here, sir? Okay, he's over it. He's he's fine now. He's over it. He's back out. Uh, he shook it off. Uh, okay, we do need to kind of like look after these plants. Water all, please. Um, how are the ones in the greenhouse doing? Uh, let's go ahead and weed all and water all, and hopefully they're not too bad. Oh, uh, this thing as well is disgusting. Let's just uh, let's just go ahead and sell it, even though it's kind of rotten condition. Um, and we also want to harvest all. Um, Agnes, where are you? Do you want to come out and say hi to the little baby sheep? I think you should, baby. Let's get you out here and let's get you bonding with this adorable little sheep. Chat with, oh my God. Chat with, socialize, hug, candy. This was the best decision I've ever made. Oh, uh, okay, baby Grim. Oh, baby Grim is up as well. Like, come out here, baby Grim, because there's a, a new friend for you to bond with. Um, where are you, Agnes? Oh, here's the here's the goat as well. So I need a name for the goats. If right, we've got the we've got Grim Reaper, right? Um, so Grim Reaper. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like his mighty steed kind of thing. Grim Reaper and Grim Reaper and his familiar. I don't know. I don't know what to call him. If you've got any good ideas, leave me a comment in the description box down below. If I think of anything first, I'll kind of go ahead and name him, but I'm kind of stuck. Like, like the Lord of Fear or something? Like the Lord of Fear. I don't know. Does that work? Uh, come out here and babble to black, black mini goat, please. Uh, what do you want to do with? Be friendly with Vlad. That's pretty cute. I'm going to lock that. Um, it's taking you a long time to get out of here, Agnes. I think you two definitely need to work on your movement skill. I mean, she actually, she's got a bit of a march on her there, hasn't she? She's actually, uh, 
that's a determined young lady. She's like, what do you mean there's pink sheep in the garden called candy? There's candy in the garden? I don't know if she's here for the sheep or she's, oh, oh, she might be bonding with the wrong one. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. She looks like a sweet baby angel, but I don't know. I don't know. She's definitely got a dark side, this child. <laughs> Go on, hug the sheep. Hug the sheep, Agnes. Do it. Look how sweet it is. These big eyes. Oh, wholesome family friendly content on my on Cinderella's channel. Uh, oh, a little love heart eyes as well. Oh my god, these two love each other. Chat with. Um, bar bar mini sheep. Have you any good stories to tell? Have you any good stories to tell? I am telling you, this is Agnes's future to be a writer. Nothing like the feeling of pure fluffiness. Oh, but feelings sheepish. No need to count the mini sheep when the conversation's that boring. Oh, she's had enough. She's over it. Should Vlad bring over Max? Max Villarreal? Well, that's on brand, isn't it, for him? Um, okay, this is just telling us how the kids are doing. Greg's not doing very well with his responsible trait, but that is okay. Oh my God, look, he's like angry already. So, oh, look at the little rainbow over his head. Oh, look at these guys. Right, Greg, you are looking a little bit grouchy. Oh, poor Greg. There's acne. A saying, can you see on my chin? I've done quite a good job of like covering up finally. I've had two weeks of really bad acne to the point where I've had to get like medication for it. It's been really, really grim. So I feel your pain, Greg. Uh, so go for a run, Greg, and uh, kind of run off some of that anger. Jog to clear mind. What's making you angry? My project from seeing their school project destroyed. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Do you know what, Greg? Go and run, go and run your anger off. Go on, go and jog it off. And when you get back, we'll kind of like fix it and we'll repair it and we'll get somebody else to help you as well with that. Uh, but for now, you need to calm down because if you try and do your project when you're that angry, it's not going to work out well for you. Uh, <laughs> Vlad and Vlad and Max. Look at these two. These two are going to be like they they're giving like heartbreaker energy. I'm not going to lie. Or future love interest uh let's invite him in if, infuse about candy oh my god is it the sheep or is it chocolate we'll never know we'll never know which one he meant uh talk about toys um describe imaginary friends i need imaginary friends to be a thing in the sims 4 and like what's taking them so long because they could do it so well um so uh really just check it recent action plans get mail Get mail. I don't know what this is going to be, to be honest. Why are you thinking about Gaidri? Chat with Gaidri? Do we want to chat with Gaidri? I think maybe we do. <laughs> so just looking at some of these people that she knows. Gaidri, hi. I can't call him. I'm going to have to call him the the, uh, the traditional way, guys. It's going to have to be this way. Let's do a seance circle. Listen, if this is what it takes for Cinderella to have friends, then this is what it takes for Cinderella to have friends. Uh, Vlad's off to drama club. He's going to invite his friend over and then bug it off. Um, okay, and let's go ahead and call over. Can I actually click on it, please? Summon Gaidri. There we go. In the mosquito. Like, Eliza's like, Mum, what are you doing? She's like, just give me a minute. Like, summoning. <laughs> summoning Gaidri in a mosquito swimsuit in the garden. She's like, and they're like, we don't want the neighbours to know, like, how weird we are. And then this is happening on the front lawn. Look at her ass. Do you know what? There's nothing wrong with having a bit of junk in your trunk because Cinderella looks hot. Uh, <laughs> literally, she's, she's on fire with, like, magic spiritual flames. Right, Eliza, I need to pay attention to you for a hot second. You're having fun, which is quite nice for you, so I might just give you a second to kind of go ahead and do that. But what what are we doing with you? What's your whole thing? She needs to cheer with a cheer mat. Um, so get over here and kind of do that, please. Uh, perform solo routine. Perform solo routine. It matches the sheep. It's cute. We love it. How is... Ooh! Perform experimental play. The principal has banned the experimental play. Dolphins of Light. Oh my god, that sounds like an amazing play. The principal has banned the experimental play Dolphins of Light from being performed at this this week. Uh, she would rather Vlad perform a musical, Songs of My Happy Cat. He hasn't got a cat. He can send, sing Songs of My Devil Goat. 
Uh, the cast was super excited about the original show and wants to revolt and perform it anyway. Should Vlad perform the musical or the experimental show if he gets kicked out of drama club for this? Because you know we're doing the experimental show. Vlad has Aquarius placements. He's not about doing things the traditional way. Exper experimental show. Great to doubt. <laughs> Oops. Like a... <laughs> Guys... Like a doll thing, sorry, hang on, excuse me. <laughs> Let's try that again. We're going, I'm gonna do dramatically because Vlad. Like a dolphin soaring through the water at great speed, so too does the enjoyment of the audience soar during the performance of Dolphins of Light. Aghast, the principal can barely believe what she is seeing, but is too nervous to stop the play in front of all the parents. She makes Vladislaus lose a grade for the insubordination action, insubordinate action. But the student body is impressed with your bold move and Vlad gains fame for his antics. Yes, we did. We did have him step into the spotlight, didn't we? Like, please tell me that Vlad has the actual ability to be famous. I'm pretty sure we had him step into the spotlight. Fame in, oh my God, step into, wait, no, who am I on? No, 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 not Greg, not Greg, not Greg. <laughs> Wrong one. Vlad, fame points. Yes, he's in the spotlight. Amazing. Okay, perfect. We love to see it. So unfortunately, he hasn't, he's still an unknown, but uh, that's nice for him to uh, at least get local, local fame. Hi, sweetie. Patella Maximus. You look very sweet. Do you, would you like to be friends with Don Lothario? Wouldn't that be cute if in this let's play, because she's really sweet looking. Wouldn't it be cute if in this Let's Play, Don Lothario, like, meets the love of his life in, like, infant school? Oh, can we get him to howdy? I'm going to have him respectful introduction because it actually adds um, manners. Um, but, um, yeah, I kind of, I like that idea. I, mean, I don't know. Do I ship him with um, Max or is Max like wingman energy? Should I have him kind of like befriend this very, very sweet looking little girl and have them kind of be like childhood sweethearts together? And like Don completely gives up his kind of um, like uh, Lothario ways. Which, should we do that? I don't know. Why, why are you still stood here and not going seeing this sweet girl? Is she coming into the house for some un unknown reason? I don't know. What I do know is, while we're waiting for whatever's happening there to happen, I think maybe it's time to get Greg back because he seems like he's calmed down. Uh, we'll get him back over here. We'll get him to groom himself. Um, we'll get him to kind of start over on his project. He is getting a bit hungry as well. So, uh, Don, are you going seeing that girl? He he is. He's off on his way, marching out the door into the sunshine to go and meet the potential love of his life. I love this room. I think I love this room. Is, okay, is Don's situation that he has this sweet girl who he really, really loves, but he's also torn and divided by his loyalty to his best friend, Max. And best his best friend, Max, is like, let's go and get into trouble. And his girlfriend, who I don't remember the name of just right now, is like, let's not get into trouble. Let's live happily ever after. But like Don's need for action and adventure are like, um, he's like got his need for romance, but his need for adventure. So he's like torn between the two things. Like this could be his, this could be his story. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what you think, guys. Oh my God, the bridge is invisible. Um... Okay, it's taking him a long time to run over to meet this girl. Like, uh, where is she? Excuse me. Like, he's running. He's running. He's running across the map to meet the love of his life. Like, oh my god. Like, we need a screenshot of that. That is, that's, that's the screenshot. With the bridge in the background. Wait, hang on. Let me get rid of his plum bob. Like, doesn't that look like a rom-com? Like, that, with the bridge in the background and everything rom-com energy run run Don, run have a better future for yourself i mean i don't know if that's a better future like there's nothing wrong with him being a lothario as long as he's like i don't know you know honest about who he is and like the expectations of people and like what they're getting into with him 
Oh, like, like that. This is so romantic. How is this this romantic? His confidence is going up. He's like doing a little bath. What's your hearing aid, Dom? Again, this is his thing about being a doctor because he like needs a doctor because he's got like a problem with his ear. Hello, Patella. Joke about nacho cheese. Tease about crush. Don't do that. Uh, okay, here we go. How do we chat with this girl? Talk about toys. Let's keep it light. Goof around. Cute. Talk about school. Hey, which school do you go to? Huh, same. Who's your teacher? Uh, talk about sibling. Yes. Play make-believe. Shall we play doctor? <laughs> no, that's bad. Um, shall we? Enthuse about candy. Do you want to come over to my house and see my cute pink baby sheep? Like, and the water's flowing because his heart is kind of flowing with emotion in this moment. I'm not going to make gushing jokes. Gushing because they're gushing over their excitement over each other in a, in a gush, gushing words. Um, not other things. Uh, school is stupid. I should just be able to start working or living life. Can I never go to school again? Eliza. See, this is because she's rebelling against authority. This is why she goes into like politics and kind of like protesting. School teachers, wait, responsibility, manners, or emotional control. I want to raise emotional control out of those three. Okay, again, lowers responsibility, which she's fallen out of the responsible trait, but we can deal with that. Let's get her to, <laughs> what is going on out here? Like, you come back to the house and it's like chaos. Like, what is actually happening? Oh, Greg's, wait, Greg, why did you stop doing your project? Because you're talking to Gadri. I forgot Gadri was here. Start working carefully. Um, and Eliza, maybe come and help him out. I don't know. Or Eliza, come and do whatever this experiment is. As assist with project. Um, okay. Where is, what, what is going on with you? Don Lothario is social level five. Oh my goodness. He is raising his skills so quickly. Where's Gaidri? Cinderella needs to be friends with Gaidri. Like she she needs friends, guys. She got there he is. Hi, Gaidri. Also, maybe let's repair this because I think Gaidri just broke it. Spells, Repario. And uh, we're not flirting with him, guys. We are offering him mental relaxation tips, is what we're doing just just friends oh he's not the one that we're actually friends with though this isn't the one that we used to live with there's two guideries um so this is uh yeah this is this isn't our guidery but i think we're don't confess attraction behave yourself cinderella uh, just because he's flirty doesn't mean you have to suave kiss him okay give him some parenting tips i don't know why just do it uh, ask about day i think we need to get guidry out of here <laughs> um compliment outfit i mean i think we already have it because we've kind of done all this before hey i've got a special gift for you because you're such a good uh neighbor and i appreciate your kindness and friendship do you want to see what it is i mean maybe okay bye girlfriend of, of don uh she's leaving now okay cinderella what you do need to do is remember that you are a mother in this let's play and oh my god look at your skills um right I need to feed everybody. So Grand Delicio, I'm sorry Gadri, you're incredibly distracted. Are you two flirting? Is that because I picked Flatter? Is that gonna set Christopher off again? I was just flattering him like in a nice way, not a romantic way. Oh God, you know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We made some great memories. I'm sure, we'll oh God, Gadri's flirting again. Oh God, get him out of here. Can I like zap him away? Can I make him leave? <laughs> Mistakes were made. Oh God, gadri has got such a hold over Cinderella, honestly. Um, okay, Cinder, you probably need to take some potion of plentiful needs. So let's just go ahead and kind of like duplicato that. Magic, spells, copy paste. I call it duplicato. I don't know where I'm getting that from, um, but it's copy paste in this. And then we can like drink one of these. So here we go. Let's get that in your inventory. Uh, and uh, go ahead and, where's it gone? I don't know where it went. Where are they going? <laughs> I'm confused. Where are they actually going? Oh god, I've lost them, haven't I? Damn it. Really? Where, where did they go? What have they done with them? <laughs> Why is nothing easy today? Right, magic, spells, 
Copy paste dough. Magic spells copy paste dough. Magic spells copy paste dough. Oh my goodness. How are the kids doing? Uh, right, can we please drink this? Drink. Okay. Hopefully she's sorted. Greg, you're working on your project. Oh, with your dad. Christopher, what are you doing? Why are you just kind of like kneeling next to your son? Assist with project. Um, okay, let's actually pay attention to what everybody needs right now. So Greg still hasn't been invited out, but I swear I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna cheat to fulfill that because I don't know if it's ever gonna happen. So as soon as he's done everything else he needs to do, we're cheating that. Um, okay, he does need the toilet, so uh, we can get him to just pee on the ground because he's a werewolf. Um, again, hopefully none of the neighbours notice this. Um, Eliza, oh, go and talk to this woman. Who is she? The craft. It's Bella Goth. I'm not like, who is this woman? I mean, what are you wearing, Bella? Are you in disguise or something? Because it's working. We need to. We need to give you a makeover, Bella. They, this isn't acceptable. It's. I don't. I don't know what to say. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed of you, honestly, Bella. Um, here's another one of Cinderella's friends though. So, uh, and I think we did make her magic as well. Um, oh, she's left. What? Damn. Right, they're doing their thing. Uh, she's getting some food, so that's good. Vlad, how are you doing? I'm sorry, you're on the toilet. <laughs> Let's zoom, zoom out of here. Um, Vlad's doing okay. He needs to have a sleep. So what what else does he need to do? So he has that thing where he has to do for homework while he's focused. Um, the only way I can think to do that is to get him to come and ponder moves. Uh, and that's going to hopefully get him focused. But he's so playful, I don't know if it's even going to work. And then we get him to do his homework. Uh, we're not making progress in this because he's just so chaotic. Uh, okay, John, you little sweet baby, you're doing your homework out here, but you're going to have to go home, my love. Um, you shouldn't be out here at, like, midnight. Uh, the Grim Reaper is doing... He smells. <laughs> the Grim Reaper smells a little bit. It'd be great if I could just scrub him, but that isn't a thing because apparently... The realm of magic, magic is not doing me any favors in this episode. Um, and uh, how are you doing? You also need to come get some food, baby. So uh, bob your way down here and grab a serving. Okay. <laughs> Gaidri just hanging out here, looking charming as ever. Uh, Greg finished his school project quickly. Extra credit has been awarded. Well done, my love. Uh, painting skill, fine. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, mate. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. Um, okay, Greg. Okay, okay. I love your castle. I mean, great job. I think we should give it to Vlad as like a gift. Um, where is Vlad? Vlad is in the in the tree. Okay. Okay, Greg, do you know what? Maybe just go to bed for the day. Wait, hang on. Let's have a quick check of... Because um, what do we need to do? We need to do his scout badges. I, I want to age him up because hey, we need to kind of like start aging people up. We need to start kind of making more progress. So view... Collect badge. <gasps> Young Sciences badge. Yes. So we've only got one more to do. Oh, we're so close to aging Greg up. <laughs> aging Greg up, guys. Like soon, soon. Um, and he can get on with the rest of his life. Uh, maybe he's going to have a horse ranch in Moonwood Mill. Maybe that's going to be his thing. Uh, it kind of scares me. Werewolves and horses. I feel like a, a bad mix. Werewolves can also eat the baby sheep and baby goats, just like they can eat the chickens in uh, Cottage Living, which I'm glad they added that as a feature because some players are like full on chaos and like will love that. Um, so I'm really glad they gave that as an option. I think you do have to have the specific um, the specific ability to be able to like eat anything. Uh, there is an ability somewhere that's like eats objects. Uh, and because technically sheep and goats are objects, you can eat them, which I think is kind of brilliant. Uh, but let's just view badge progress because we must be getting close now. I think arts and crafts is actually the last one to do. So hopefully that homework kind of contributed to it. Um, where are we? So this is the last one, arts and crafts. So we need to do five crafts. Uh, so how are we actually doing here? Um, I feel like you've got enough time to do one painting, Greg, before bed. So get out of here and continue confident painting and then we'll send you to bed. So he's getting really close. I think we're doing a really good job with him. Um, who else do we have? Eliza. 
Eliza, before this episode's done, let's have a quick check in with you. So um, she needs to mess around with the cuddle cards. Does she have a love interest? I can't remember. She does not. Who? Okay, she has got a lot of friends though. So there's Elsa Birchson, uh, Miki, oh Miki, and Jace and Jaden. She's got a lot of potential love interests. Or are we just gonna like heartbreak somebody? I don't know. That's right. That is the mission for um, Eliza one day this week then. I swear it was Thursday and I thought it was Friday today and I'm really confused about why it's now Tuesday. I, d I think I must have read something wrong. Uh, go to sleep and has she done her cheer mat thing? She needs to get to level fitness too before she can get promoted. Okay, Greg's doing brilliantly with drama. I think he's, has he like maxed it out? Um, I think he might have already maxed that out, so he's gonna age up very quickly. Is he ready to age up? Oh, we need to do that homework thing with him. Okay, I remember now. Okay, Don, why are you not home? Don, seriously? It, we, Don, you can't just hang out here mem like remembering your lovely girl. You need to go home. Don, Don do I need to reset him? Resetting object breaks curfew. That doesn't seem oh. fair. Go home, Don. Don, go home. Go, go home, Don. Go home. Go home. Where's your daddy? Where's your daddy? Go home, Don. Puppy energy. Um, okay, the Grim Reaper stinks and needs food. Grim, baby, get up. Come and get some food. Come and get this herb crusted salmon, <laughs> the Cinderella magic. Uh, and Agnes as well. She's already got her herb crusted salmon, apparently. Um, but <laughs> Greg is making her go to sleep, apparently. Sorry, Christopher's making her go. It always descends into chaos. I need to go. I need to go. And we need to pick this up another day because it's 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 that point in the video where I just don't even know what's happening anymore. We'll just let Greg finish his painting. We'll make sure Don gets home um, safely. Come on, Don. You need food as well, my lovely. Like, get over it. There we go. Greg's done his beautiful painting. Oh, I don't know what to say about this werewolf. Uh, right, Don, before you go to bed, I do want you to come and grab some salmon um, and then, uh, yeah, head to bed. There we go. I think that's I think that's it. I think the kids are kind of like taking care of for the night. Um, do we still have a maid? Did we see? I did see the maid. I remember seeing her now. Uh, let's put the salmon away just so that we have like enough food to kind of last. Um, I'm actually just going to magic another meal and put it straight in the fridge just so we can make sure that there's like food if people need it. Um, she magicked a pepperoni pizza. Okay, well, let's put it in the fridge then, I guess. Uh, yeah, come on. Oh, he's so tired. He's so tired. He can't even, like, run home anymore. Oh, guys. I hope you're enjoying this video. I'm going to kind of leave it there. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. I still need to think of a name for that goat. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's like, I wanted to be called, like, Destroyer of Worlds. He's called Destroyer of Worlds. Destroyer of Worlds. Like, what's a good goat name, though? Like, Billy Destroyer of Worlds. Uh, Billy, where are you? <laughs> Lock the camera. We've got it, guys. <laughs> That's his gonna be his name. Um, oh, Cind look, Cinderella. Cinderella is dressed for the occasion as well. She's got, like, a Darth Vader Leah outfit on. Leia, Leah. Uh, Billy <laughs> Destroyer of Worlds. There we go. That's his name. <laughs> Which I think is kind of perfect for Grim. I, I am going to be honest. I've got to remember to look after these two. He's starving. Okay, wait, wait a second. The goat's starving. I forgot something. As though I was going to wrap up the episode, like, in a sensible place. I guess we need to get him some um, wild grass. I don't think I want to get, like, the trait for it. Um, just because it'll end up everywhere. But if we just get a couple of pieces of wild grass, that should be enough to be able to like feed the goats. Uh, we still don't have like a dog or anything. Do you remember we were trying to get a dog for a while and then that just kind of like stopped happening? Um, so yeah, we'll just kind of like put some of this around wherever there's kind of like space for it. Um, and then the goats can hopefully uh, gnaw on that and not, not starve to death. <laughs> There we go. That should be fine. That should be enough because uh, that'll turn into wild grass. Um, 
So yeah, they should be okay. Uh, that'll start to grow soon, but maybe, maybe, oh, yeah, they're starving. I've got to feed him. I've got to feed him. Call it, don't call it, don't call her over. Come out here. <laughs> like I've only just got them and they're already starving to death. Go here. And then we need to like wake them up. <laughs> all over Billy Destroyer of Worlds. Then we need to wake them up and we need to uh, feed them by hand just so that they've got a little bit of something so they don't run away <laughs> before the next episode. Right, here we go. Wake up Candy. Call over Candy. And care. Uh, bottle feed Candy. Here we go. And at least we get to see this cute interaction. I think she's only unhappy because she's starving so as soon as we feed her hopefully she's gonna cheer, cheer up there you go already she's looking a bit more cheerful like look at her little tail wagging she's so adorable how cute is she good job good job um, and then Billy as well. Let's go ahead and hand feed Billy. Bottle feed Billy. Um, I don't think I can hand feed because I don't know if I've got any produce in my inventory, but I'm pretty sure you can feed them like, you can definitely feed them prairie grass, I think. Um, I say definitely, I'm like 99% sure. Um, and you think you can feed them things like carrots and apples and stuff if you've got them in your inventory. You can with horses. Um, I mean, I don't know. Christopher's got all kinds of weird stuff in his inventory, so... Uh, like, where would it be if I could do it? Actions, uh, maybe not. Maybe I can't hand feed. I thought I could, but maybe that's not a thing. Maybe that's something I made up. I'm pretty, right, apparently I made that up, so you can't do that, but you can bottle feed them, so that's cute. <laughs> don't come to me for the facts, guys. I don't trade in facts. I, I trade in potential and like what could be. <laughs> I trade in imagination. Uh, okay, these two are adorable. Like, his, look at the state of Cinderella. Like, why are you so curvy? What is going on with you to make you so curvy, Cinders? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I hope you found this... Like, I don't mean to kind of like shame anyone. There's nothing wrong with being curvy. It's just that's not how I see Cinderella. Um, so... Um, yeah, it's confusing me, like, what's going on with her? Like, why are you curvy? Um, but yeah, like, Eliza's curvy, and I think it suits her. I think she looks great. I love that for her. She's kind of, like, she looks cute. Um, yeah, so just to make, just to kind of, like, make the distinction there, I'm not kind of, like, shaming anyone or anything like that. It's just personally, um, it's not how I see her and it, it confuses it confuses me why she puts weight on so easily I'm like what are you doing you kind of like eating snacks when I'm not looking what's what is happening because she's quite active as well she does yoga and stuff so I'm like <laughs> like maybe there's some kind of bug in the game that where it's like adding weight instead of losing weight you know she's like do you see what I mean I'm like it's confusing me I'm like what's happening there uh right anyway um yeah I hope you're enjoying this let's play and uh, I'm sorry that Don's behind my head. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go there and I don't know when the next episode is gonna be. Hopefully it's not gonna be such a long wait next time. Uh, I'm gonna go and do, like film a Detroit Become Human video just because some people might be waiting for that. So hopefully I'm gonna get at least one a week up. Um, I'm kind of doing my best. It's school holidays though as well. I've kind of got a lot on so it's finding the time. Like I say, I'm probably gonna go and watch the Barbie movie in a bit. So I just uh, time thing. Okay, I'm gonna go because I'm like, it's a time thing. Thing, and then the video is like an hour and 20 minutes long. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Take care of yourselves and I will see you again soon. Bye friends.